Hi folks, welcome to a spooky Wednesday widget from NYC CNC. Let's use an Arduino and a ping sensor and some servo motors and some other fun stuff to make this automated spooky Halloween prop. Here's how this is gonna work. The ping sensor is gonna detect when someone approaches the door. As soon as they get close enough, and we'll set that distance, it's gonna Woo. drop a spider down hopefully surprising them or scaring them. And then it'll move back up and lift the spider back up and wait for the next victim. So it should be pretty fun. I think it's a great project because it shows just how easy you can do some really cool stuff with Arduinos and motors and inputs and sensors, which I love. And even if you don't wanna do this exact project, use it to do something else this Halloween and make it for your family or friends or if you've got kids, great project. Then at the end, we're gonna take it to another level and we're gonna add a scream sensor on the Arduino. So if somebody screams when that spider drops, we're gonna activate a solenoid through a power tail and it's gonna spray them, uh, in this case, with silly string. So should be a lot of fun, let's dive in. So what do you need to do this project? Well, don't worry, in the video description below, there's a full list of the bill of materials for everything you could wanna buy. But the emphasis here is let's keep it simple. You know, we have a Tormach lathe, and so we actually made this really cool uh, adapter here. And if you want to see a video tutorial on how to do that, you can click here. But not everybody has a lathe, and that's not the point of this. And I want to give credit. I had thought of this idea, and then I was researching ways to make it rock and roll, and I did find this project, and they had the great example of using a wire nut. But you want something basically that's tapered. That way, when the servo rotates down, it'll really easily drop the spider that's hanging by the wire. We've got our ping sensor though, an Arduino, and the two servos. Let's take a closer look at how we set the servos up. So we've got a standard 180 degree servo right here. So as you can see, the horn on it will rotate from about there back to there. Let's attach this continuous rotation servo. And you wanna pay attention because you want the rotation to be so that you can go from about there to there. That works great. You can see that's not going to interfere. How do you want to attach these two? Lots of ways. You can use glue if you want a permanent solution. We're just going to use regular old electric tape. You can see nothing crazy and plenty support, plenty rigid. We just took a cardboard dinner plate and cut out a circle. That serves as our backer. We put that on first. Bought some string from the hobby store. And we're actually gonna put the string right across the, the shaft coming out of the servo and then push our piece over it. Now, we did this with a number one drill. So if you're, again, a uh, machinist or tool guy and you've got a number one drill, it's a perfect press fit over that plastic uh, servo shaft. If you're gonna glue it, I would suggest gluing with some hot glue, or we also really like um, any sort of JB weld, and you can glue these all together, including even an electrical nut. Using some glue to seal the little crack between the spool and the cardboard back plate, that helps make sure that your wire or string winds up over the spool and doesn't get caught inside the, uh, the crack between the two. One of the things I like about this product is we don't need any resistors or capacitors or diodes. We've got our ping sensor set up. The first pin goes to ground, middle pin goes to five volts, and this other pin is the white cable that goes to our Duino digital pin seven. And then we've got the two servos set up. Again, very simple. The black pin is ground, the red pin is plus five, and the yellow pin is the signal. The servo back here is the drop servo, and it's on pin nine. And the one in the front is the continuous rotation that lifts the spider back up. It's on pin 10, and that's really it, folks. Quick interruption, two things. One, we're running a T-Blaster campaign. So if you're interested in a Saunders Machine Works t-shirt with this design that was done by my buddy Graham over at Diode Press, feel free to check out the link in the description where you can buy a t-shirt for $20 and support the channel. The other thing is we're getting pretty close to crossing 10 million views, and that is awesome. So here's the thing. We'll post in a future video, so make sure you subscribe. We're gonna do a giveaway at 10 million views, and we're gonna do a giveaway for everybody, and then we're gonna do a special giveaway for the folks that support us on Patreon, which we really appreciate. Back to the project. Let's walk through the Arduino code. It's pretty well commented, so I'm not going to go through every detail. 
One of the things you'll need is the new ping library. Again, link below, but you can download it here from this URL. We've got two servos, one that'll drop it and one that'll lift it back up. And there are two important variables here. The trip distance, that says how close does somebody have to be to the ping sensor before we say, let's drop the spider. This is in centimeters, so that means it's gotta be pretty close. You can adjust this as you see fit. 8,000, that's eight seconds. And that says how long do we lift the spider back up. You may need to adjust that based on how thick your spool is, how long your string is, how high you want the spider, and so forth. When we first start the program, what we're gonna do is actually drop the spider just to make sure it's down and then wind it back up. That's the safest way. You don't wanna wind it back up if it's already in the up position. And then the code is incredibly simple. All we do is this line right here, which sends a ping out and gets that distance back in centimeters. We set that as a, a variable here, and then we just measure. If, the, if that distance is less than our trip distance, again, that's the number we set right here, then uh, go ahead and drop the spider. Now we have two more conditions in this if statement, and those are really important. One is that we make sure the distance is greater than three centimeters. And here's why. These ping sensors aren't perfect, and when they don't get a distance, they output zero. And that's going to happen a lot, and you don't want it to drop it on zero. And then state equals one. What we're doing here is we're preventing the spider from being dropped again if people are still standing in front of the sensor. So in other words, we go through and we drop the spider, and we set in here, we set state equals to zero. So it's not going to let this spider drop again until people step away from the sensor and, and meaning they're back in front of it, they're further back than the trip distance, then we can set the state back equal to one and that will let this run the next time somebody approaches it. The code is pretty simple though. We just angle that servo down, sort of dump in the bucket, dump in the sp sp string off the spool. We wait you know, five seconds to, before we start winding it back up. And then we just position the lift sensor, we position the uh, servo back upright and we start winding it up again for that lift time and that's it. We've got it all set up. Let's take a look at this ping sensor and I think this is what's so cool. You can see we're reading in the mid 80s here and as we come in it closes down and as we get below 40 it says drop the spider. If we stay in you see we're in the 20s and 30s here it's not going to do anything. As soon as we back out above 40 and come back in drops it again. Awesome. Whoa! Trick or treat. Whoa! I hope everybody enjoyed that spooky Wednesday widget. Something a little different. And if you want to see us take it to the next level, uh, this actually should be really fun with a solenoid, a power tail, and some silly string to make this thing activated by a scream sensor. Link's right here. Otherwise, folks, as always, I appreciate the thumbs up, sharing this with your friends, liking it, commenting below. Take care. Happy Halloween. See you soon. I promise I'll get over this uh, head cold as well. I'm sorry about the uh, terrible audio. Take care.